Hello, my name is April Walker from the Yoga Ranger Studio, and today's practice is a decadent, sweet, healing self care shavasana with a guided body scan. So, we're going to make yourself super comfortable and relaxed. If you have a couple of blankets or a couple of beach towels, those would be super helpful here. We're going to take our first beach towel and blanket and we're going to roll it up for underneath our knees. Okay. Our second blanket, we're going to take it out, stretch it. What we're going to do is we're going to take sort of a little roll and you're going to adjust this for your neck. Okay. So this would be your neck would go, I don't have a very deep neck curve. So for me, this is about enough. But if yours is deeper, you'll probably want to roll it a few more times. Go ahead and come down. Drop your knees right over. I misjudged how much space there is. Happens, right? If you have to readjust that, so it's right in the curve, right where the curve of your neck occurs. Okay. Let your feet fall in or out, depending on your hip rotation. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath, hands out to the side, palms facing up. You're going to roll those thumbs open as far as you can and then relax them. Rock the shoulder blades and tuck them underneath so you're nice and flat. I like to lift one heel, press through the heel and then drop that leg back down, switch to the other. This helps give you a little space in the hip and the socket of the leg. And last, lift your chin, look at your toes, and then lower it back down, settling yourself in. Go ahead and close your eyes. If you're cold, of course, if you have an extra blanket, go ahead and bring that on top of yourself. If you're having digestive issues, you can always put a blanket right across the belly, and that feels very soothing and very soft and kind of comforting as well. Again, your three-part breath, inhaling belly, chest, collarbones, and exhaling it out. Smoothing out the breath. And start to lengthen that exhale longer than the inhale, maybe by one or two or three counts. With each exhale, feel a little bit softer, a little bit more relaxed, feel supported and grounded. Make any last minute adjustments you may need for your Shavasana to feel completely at rest. So Shavasana is always a wonderful choice to make if you are exhausted or short on time or sick or recovering from being sick or just about to get sick or just when you need to reboot and restore. You can do wonders for your nervous system. So counting from the number 10 backwards, each exhale would be your next number. Feel on each exhale that you sink a little deeper and deeper and deeper into more relaxation. That with each exhale, tension releases into the floor, away from you. With each exhale, feel yourself soften and release. Don't worry about if you lose track of your numbers, just start back at the number 12.
whatever number you're at here, go ahead and let go of that count. Settling yourself in, feeling as soft and relaxed as you have ever felt. Feeling a deep release of the entire body. And begin your awareness of that space right in between your eyebrows. Just softly focus your awareness there and then gently move your awareness to your eyes, softening your eyes in their sockets. Move your awareness to your jaw and your neck Maybe opening and closing your jaw a few times, swallowing. Move your awareness to the center space between your collarbones and over to your right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, softening the right palm, thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. Softening each finger, allowing them to release the palm. Bring your awareness to the center of your wrist, center of your right elbow, right shoulder, that spot right in between your collarbones and then let your awareness drift over to the left shoulder. Left elbow, left wrist. Releasing the left palm, thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Allowing the palm to soften. Left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder, center space in between the collarbones, and then bring your awareness to the center of the chest, moving it over to the right side of the chest, back to center, left side of the chest, and back to center, moving your awareness down to that space right above your navel allowing the space to soften front and back, left and right. Allow your awareness to drift to the center of your pelvis, feeling supported and grounded here. And then move your awareness over to the right hip, right knee, right ankle, center of the right foot, first toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little pinky toe. Back to the center of the foot, right ankle, right knee, right hip, back to the center of the pelvis, and over to the left hip, left knee, left ankle, center of the left foot, first toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and pinky, center of the foot, left ankle, left knee, left hip, center of the pelvis, center right above the navel, center of the chest, center of the throat, center of the forehead. Allow yourself to bring awareness to the left side of your body, releasing the last bit of tension on the left side, all the way from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. And then move your awareness to the right side of your body, releasing and relaxing all the way from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes. Feel the back side of the body soften into the floor and be supported. And let the front side of the body feel soft, 
secure, released, and light. Bring your awareness to the bottom half of your body from your waist down. Feel a softness through the entire bottom part of the body. And bring your awareness to the top part of the body, allowing everything to relax and release. And now sense your entire body soft, tension free, light. Feel free to remain here as long as you have. Take the time that you need to relax and release and feel comfortable. When you are ready to come out, just roll to your right side and press yourself up slowly and continue on with the rest of your day. But if you can take a few more moments just allow your breath to be soft and your body to be supported. Whatever you have time for, I wish you a wonderful day. Please like and comment down below and I hope to see you again very soon. Peace and Namaste.